Like it or not, the invention of the iPhone revolutionized more than just telecommunications. It was a trailblazer for smartphones, an invigorator of technology. It was the match that sparked a social media generation. Where would we be without it? Hello and welcome back to Life's Biggest Questions. Thank you guys for tuning into this video. If you guys aren't yet subscribed to our channel, please do click on that red subscribe button below. I'm Rebecca Felgate, and today I'm asking the probing question of what if the iPhone was never invented? In 2007, before the launch of the now iconic iPhone, the most popular and exclusive phone was the Blackberry. Looking at it now, it actually kind of stresses me out. The most high-end phones still had flip screens and clunky buttons. Elsewhere, luckily the trend for tiny phones was on the decline as cell companies realized users liked bigger screens, but phones were still clunky and almost all of them featured bulky keyboards, not just the Blackberry. It isn't true to say that the iPhone was the first phone to use touchscreens. Others did have it, but they were rare and by and large sluggish. This led to many industry experts writing them off as something consumers didn't want. All things considered, it is safe to say that without the iPhone, we would probably be stuck using phones with small screens and teeny keyboards that just don't compensate for a chunkier finger. Perhaps we would still have those poncy pens. Remember those? Ugh. If we were stuck with keyboards, our screen ratio would be much smaller, making browsing the web much harder and less readable. You know what else we wouldn't have without the iPhone? Fast internet. The iPhone was an innovator and boundary pusher in many ways, and its creation sparked a relationship with the internet that other phones struggled to have. Do you remember getting 100 megabytes of data a month? Yes, megabytes. Gross. I'm sure internet usage on our phones would have increased and become quicker eventually, but the invention of the iPhone forced to the issue. We may have internet, but without the iPhone, we may not have social media, especially not sites like Snapchat and Instagram. Why? Well, the slow internet, but worse, the awful cameras. Before the iPhone, most high-end phones had two megapixel cameras. Of course, the iPhone pioneered the front-facing camera, which in turn pioneered the selfie. Imagine a world without Snapchat and Instagram and selfie filters. And imagine a world without YouTube. Okay, YouTube would still exist without iPhones, but the pair evolved together, with iPhones allowing people to record themselves more freely on the fly. Essentially, iPhones gave rise to vloggers and enhanced the platform by allowing YouTube onto people's phones, placing video content in the hands at the touch of a button. Of course, we may still have had Facebook, but think of the rest of the social media sites that we may not have had. It wasn't just YouTube, Instagram, and Snapchat that were either born or enhanced in the wake of the iPhone. The iPhone's innovative all-screen design and fast iOS operating system encouraged the development and function of so many apps, especially gaming and streaming apps. If phones stayed the way that they were before the iPhone with the prominence of keyboards, screens would have been too small to enjoy Netflix or Candy Crush Saga, let alone the issue of the internet being far too slow to actually stream them anyway. Without iPhones, we would probably still be listening to music on our iPods or other MP3 players too. The iPhone the iPhone was the first phone to successfully marry music and cellular devices. While others could play MP3s, they didn't have much space on them and the upload process to the device was arduous. The development of the first iPhone has led to further technological innovations with future iPhones too. For example, developments in wireless charging, the emergence of Siri, and of course the world's explosive love for emojis. iPhones allowed us to communicate on much deeper levels than just SMS. With the creation of the iPhone, Apple actually managed to create more than just a phone. They created a communication device, a recording device, an entertainment device, a health monitor, and a business platform all in one. Like they promised back in 2007, they really did change phones forever. But of course, it isn't just telephones that iPhones transformed. iPhones were the inspiration behind the iWatch, which now can be used as telephones. As Apple continues to be at the forefront of technological creation, I'm sure they won't stop there either. Who is to say we won't be able to communicate via our mirrors, for example, in the future? I, for one, can imagine the world's first iCar, or maybe even iHouse. Of course, the iPhone can thank a lot to their own predecessors, the iPod, for their creation. But it was the development and release of the iPhone in 2007 that altered human communication forever. Perhaps another tech company will outmaneuver them one day and change the game in a new, previously undiscussed direction. But until then, Apple reigns as king and as queen and as overlord of all communication technology. So that is a glimpse into what the world might look like without the iPhone. What do you guys think to this video? Do you have anything to add to this discussion? 
question? Let me know in the comments section down below. If you want to be the first to hear big answers to big questions, do make sure you have that notification button turned on. For now, I'm Rebecca Felgate. Thank you guys for tuning in. I will see you in the next video. But until then, stay curious, stay alert, and never ever stop questioning. Oh,